Hello, I'm Kirk Penton, Sun Media football writer from the Winnipeg Sun. I'm joined by Scott Mitchell, not the Hamilton Tiger Cats president, Scott Mitchell, but Scott Mitchell, who covers the stamps for the Calgary Sun. Have you met Scott Mitchell yet? I have not. I can verify that I am not the president of the Tiger Cats, though. So, uh, you know, I get some weird looks, though. Yeah, and you, you got an email once I did. from the Tiger Cats director of... PR. I did. I did. Unfortunately, I, uh, I sent it right back to him and <laughs> told him about the mistake. There we go. All right. We're at the 101st Grey Cup here in Regina, and uh, we've been on the ground, I guess, for a couple of days. We've been dealing with the weather. The, the teams have been dealing with the weather. We might as well get right to it because we're in Regina, outdoor game on Sunday, Tie Cats riders. What do you think about the weather? Is it going to have a big impact on the game? Well, well the, the forecast says zero, but uh, I don't know if you can believe that, uh, the, the long-term uh, view of that. But, uh, you know, I don't think it will. I mean, at this point, I think, you know, the riders are used to playing in the cold. I think, uh, you know, the Thai Cats are, are adjusting this week, and I don't, I don't think it'll be an issue. You know, this is, this is the biggest game of the year, and if, if, if weather is affecting you, you, you've got some problems. <laughs> that's true. The Thai Cats really haven't played in a, in a snowy game, but if it does get up to zero, I think that's going to help the Thai Cats because... They were out there yesterday, and poor C.J. Gable, the running back from California, had never, uh, had never ever been on a field with snow. And he was even talking about how he would have to change his running style. So it'll be very interesting to see if that forecast changes. If it doesn't, I think the Ticats have a much better chance. Now, tons of storylines. Kent Austin, Corey Chamberlain, Henry Burris, all these guys who have these histories. Is there one storyline that you are most interested in this week? I mean, I, I don't think you can overlook the storyline of the riders playing at home and, and just the fact that all the, you know, the kind of the trials and tribulations that they went through to get here, you know, there was some off-field things, there's losing streaks, there's, there's going into Calgary and getting beat and then going into Calgary again and, and laying, a, you know, laying a beating on them. So, I mean, you know, it, it's, a, it's a home Grey Cup and, and, you know, I think they're, they're happy to be here. And I, I, I just, I don't see how they can, you know, let down at this point in the season and, and it still be not considered a, a disappointment. So, I mean, you know, this is what they've worked for all year and, uh, you know, they're here and, and I think they, they need to get it done to make yeah. this season a success. You've, uh, you've talked to Darian Duran a few times. How's, how's his mood this week? Oh, Darian's been great. I, I think, um, you know, he's learned so much from from being in this position before and, and coming up on, on, the, on the short end of the stick that, uh, you know, he said today that he's, uh, he's, he's enjoying it. He's, got a, he's lugging around a little camera. He's, uh, he's, he's taking in this experience and, and he's, he, you know, I think he wants to come out with a ring at the end. Yeah, no kidding. So we got five guys here in Regina, Terry Jones, Steve Simmons, us two, Frank Ziccarelli. He's all over the Thai Cats like he has been all year. Go to Toronto Sun, Calgary Sun, Edmonton Sun, Winnipeg Sun, Ottawa Sun, all the Suns. We got football stories coming from every angle possible, and we will be back on video as soon as possible. So thanks for watching. For Scott Mitchell, not the president of the Ticats, but from the Calgary Sun, I'm Kirk Penton.